Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Uranus and astrology. Now Uranus and astrology can represent freedom, innovation, invention, friends, ingenuity, uh, rebellion. The energy of Uranus can be very sporadic and erratic. Uranus is also about the unusual and unpredictable. The sign Uranus is placed in one's natal chart can show how the energy is used, excuse me, and the house placement can show where the person uses his ingenuity. NBA superstar LeBron James has Uranus in Sagittarius. This may account for unusual athletic ability. Um, he has it in the sixth house, so it is incorporated into his work life and employment and his daily routine. What's interesting in his case is that it also conjuncts Mercury, and this could add ingenuity and thought to things uh, that something that is work related, and in this case, uh, Sagittarius uh, being sports. And I'm sure he gives his own unique style to the way he plays. Uh, plays basketball. So anyway, now in general, um, if Uranus uh, makes predominantly positive aspects in a natal chart, the person may express their originality and ingenuity easily and may have few issues in matters concerning freedom and independence. Now, however, if Uranus makes predominantly adverse aspects and is strongly afflicted, the person may have strong issues connected with their freedom and independence and may have a little bit more difficulty in expressing ingenuity, their originality, and, and new concepts and ideas. So, anyway, well, as far as Uranus goes, also um, in general with aspects of somebody, well, actually what I want to talk about, I already talked about the aspects in general. The next thing is talk about individual aspects Let's take uh, somebody um, that has uh, Mercury making an adverse aspect to their Uranus in their natal chart. Well, this could be a person that might enjoy shocking others and surprising them, such as practical jokes. Uh, also, uh, the communications they have with others, they may be somewhat sporadic and erratic. And also, perhaps their thinking may be from time to time as well. So anyway, now I want to talk about uh, Uranus that's retrograde. May uh, somebody that has uh, Uranus that is retrograde in their natal chart, this could be, suggest that ingenuity may be expressed uh, more inwardly as opposed to outwardly. Now original ideas and concepts may be suppressed uh, for whatever reasons. Uh, if somebody happens to be an innovator or an inventor, patents on original ideas may be delayed. And issues of freedom and independence may be expressed in a more subtle or indirect manner. And, that, and those issues may be delayed as well. Now, let's take somebody that has uh, Uranus intercepted in their natal chart. This could show strong vacillation and distortion of Uranian energy. The person, uh, one moment, may express their original and ingenious side at, at one time very strongly, and then the next minute just basically not go for a prolonged period without expressing it. So it's really, it can be lack of consistency in this uh, expression. Now, another thing is, is that uh, let's take somebody that has Uranus unaspected in their natal chart. Well, this could be a person that might be uh, alone or isolated from friends. And it could be a person, too, that, that might be somewhat isolated from their future, so to speak. A person that might feel at times that they have uh, no future. To, so, And also, keep in mind, when you have a... A planet as rare as it is and it's unaspected it's often it's not operating in the same manner that it than it ordinarily would so now Uranus can can indicate if you have Uranus that is unaspected in your natal chart it might be a person that may make changes at times 
when they're not, not really necessary to do it might just be for the sake of just making a change but it might not but it may not necessarily be needed and the t and the thing is once the person really needs to make a change of more significance the person may hold back and not make that change so anyway well transits um by uranus are important as well because they could show at that time by transit where this unusual and unpredictable energy and even ingenious energy can be going now let's say for example uh somebody i mean i'm having this transit right now let's say somebody has transit uranus in aries in the 12th house this could be a person that might express original and pioneering ideas connected with 12th house matters such as the metaphysical spirituality uh even the paranormal or in even other things such as maybe photography and even coming up with new ideas perhaps of helping those less fortunate than others such as people that are homeless and, and in poverty and in the oppressed so and also too i mean somebody having a transit by uranus to their 12th house can have i think disruptions in sleep in their private life maybe really maybe uh chaos there might be tumult and chaos in one's private life so anyway now another example let's say uh, by aspect let's say that transit uranus makes a sextile or trine to one's natal uh venus this could be somebody at the time that may incorporate ingenuity and originality into monetary matters it could be that maybe uh friends might might play a role in a person's uh, love life if the person is unattached and doesn't have a significant other say a friend might introduce somebody to uh to the person or even it could be that money this is a good aspect i think um especially if the person is in an esoteric field such as astrology making money from an esoteric field so anyway um another thing uh too is let's say talk about um transits that are made to your uh your own uranus in your chart let's say for example that transit saturn is making an adverse aspect to your natal uranus let's say that transit saturn is making a square opposition or even an in conjunct to your natal uranus well this could be a time where you might feel torn between the the conventional and the unconventional uh be, being torn between what is con, you know being more conservative or bra or doing something more ingenious and in, in going going it's like it could be like a tug of war basically between the true true and the tried and in really branching out and doing something uh in in the way that you're not accustomed to so and it could also indicate that the father or even authority figures you might feel that they're maybe prohibiting you maybe from working from from doing things that are future related or doing or or maybe inhibiting your freedom and independence to some degree now also uh progress placements of uranus can be important as well let's say for example in a progress chart uranus is in scorpio in the third house this can suggest ingenuity in thought perhaps in scorpio like subjects such as astrology the supernatural the occult uh, magic alchemy and it might be expressed with siblings if applicable or neighbors and you might also have ideas that are very extemporaneous at the time and come very uh quickly and be and, and also in expressing them with a lot of that scorpio like incisiveness now also um let's take a, another example uh by aspect let's say in a progress chart somebody has uranus in sagittarius in the sixth house uh making an in conjunct to the progress cancer ascendant well this might be some uh perhaps some unusual issues with sagittarius like illnesses connected with the liver for example the thighs the hamstrings uh and also may take a toll on the physical body and even a progressed chart cancer rising would not be necessarily known for having a very strong or robust energy level the constitution may may not be strong to begin with at the time and then also 
um, and then if you have the in conjunct, this could actually uh, may, make it worse having perhaps these Sagittarius-like health issues can take a toll perhaps on, on, on the person's energy level and vitality and physical body. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Uranus and astrology. Stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Neptune and astrology. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.